सो नाउ वील सी असाइनमेंट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑफ चैप्टर टू दैट इज यूनिफॉर्म फ्लो सो असाइनमेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फाइन लेट्स लुक एट द क्वेश्चन अ रेक्टेंगुलर चैनल फोर मीटर वाइड has a depth of water 1.5 meter we'll go step by step so first of all there is a rectangular channel let me draw a rectangular channel this is a rectangular channel fine and what it has given it has given you the width so let me mark first this is width b and this is depth y so what is given you have been given the value of b that is 4 meter wide and what you else you have been given you have been given the depth of water is 1.5 meter fine this was your first statement the slope of the bed of the channel is 1 in 1000 and value of chazy's constant c is 55 so slope is given to you as 1 in 1000 and what you have been given chazy's constant c is given to you as 55 fine now next it is desired to increase the discharge to a maximum by changing the dimensions of the section for constant area of cross section slope of the bed and roughness of the channel find the new dimensions of the channel and increase in discharge now what is happening i'll tell you first what is the question and then we'll proceed so what is happening in the question it has already mentioned you the width the depth of flow slope and chazy's constant now the interest of this question is to increase the discharge i want that for the given dimension i want that i should manipulate the dimension that is the area should remain same that is b into y what you are getting that is in this case you will be getting around 6 meters fine so 1.5 right 6 meters square you will be getting the area so area should remain constant along with it your slope bed your roughness coefficient or here it is chazy is constant should remain constant only thing which will vary is the dimension that is i have to do some permutation and combinations that for a given width and for a given depth of flow which i'll be getting i should get the maximum discharge fine so i have to find the new dimensions of the channel section rectangular channel sections and for the new channel section i'll calculate the discharge and with respect to initial discharge i'll subtract and i'll know how much percentage is the increase in discharge if we change the dimensions of the rectangular channel section for getting a maximum discharge fine so i hope you are clear with this question so first of all we'll proceed step by step as the question is given now what it has said the area should remain constant so what is your area area is b into y fine so b is 4 and your y is 1.5 so you will get 6 meter square is your area first thing now first of all i'll calculate the initial discharge and then i'll find out the dimensions for getting the maximum discharge and in the second case when i'll calculate the uh, dimensions i'll find out the new discharge and i'll subtract with respect to the this initial discharge to get the increase in discharge so now if i want to calculate the discharge what i have to do you know that <coughs> q is equal to area into velocity fine and since chazy's constant is given so we will be using chazy's formula right so now i have to cal area i have already calculated chazy's constant is given slope is given hydraulic radius i have to calculate for this section so now you know that hydraulic radius is the ratio of wetted area by wetted perimeter 
I got the area but I haven't calculated the perimeter. So let me calculate what will be your perimeter. Your perimeter will be wetted perimeter basically. This portion because this is wetted by the channel. This portion and your this portion. So what you have got width plus twice of depth because this side is also y and this side is also y. So you will get b plus 2 y. So what is width? Width is 4 meter and your depth is 1.5. So from here 4 plus 3 that is 7 meter is your perimeter. Fine. So what I will do? I will solve this. So 6 divided by 7 will give me 0.857 meter. This is your hydraulic radius. So now I have to only substitute the values. So initial discharge is how much? 6 meter square area is given. Chase is constant is 55. Hydraulic radius R is how much? It is 0.857 and slope is 1 in 1000. Fine. So I will calculate it here. 6 into 55 into root over 0.857 into 1 upon 1000. So from here you will get the value of discharge as 9.66 meter cube per second. This is your initial discharge. Fine. Till here we have solved. Now what it is given in the question, we have to design the channel section. It is desired. I will read it. It is desired to increase the discharge to a maximum. Now if you will go back to the case where we studied most efficient or most economical rectangular channel section, what we were to supposed to do? What we were used to do? Our aim was to get the maximum discharge. Fine? So here also it is mentioned that we have to calculate the dimensions to get the maximum discharge. So now come on, you tell me for maximum discharge, what were the conditions which we derived? For maximum discharge in a rectangular channel section, what were the conditions? Now, there were two conditions if you remember, I will tell you. What is that? Your width should be twice the depth of flow. Let us suppose in this case, uh, new case, width will be B dash and depth will be Y dash. But I will tell you this basic conditions first, fine? So your width should be twice the depth of flow, first condition. Second one was how, what? Hydraulic radius is half the depth of flow. These two were important conditions I told you, right? So now what you will do is, in this case, we know that your area, cross-sectional area is constant. So now, let us suppose, let the new dimensions of the channel dimensions of the channel B, B dash and Y dash. I have not written it is under, understood that B dash is the new width of the channel, Y dash is the new depth of flow. Now what is happening? You know that area is constant that is it will remain 6 meter square only you have to change the width and depth of flow. So what is happening? B dash into Y dash is equal to 6 meter square, right? And you know in for efficient channel section, B dash should be 2 Y dash. See, do not confuse this was the general thing which we derived. So I have written this general thing for you to memorize, fine. In case you are not means you have not solved n number of questions and you are finding difficult for that purpose I have written this, fine. Do not get confused this width is this width, no. New channel width is B dash and Y dash. This is the condition for getting maximum discharge. So B dash is twice of Y dash. So can I write 2y dash into y dash, you will get it 
टू वाई डैश स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू सिक्स फाइन नाउ वट विल हैपन वाई डैश स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू थ्री एंड वाई डैश विल बी इक्वल टू रूट थ्री सो लेट मी कैलकुलेट इट जनरली इट इज वन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री टू ओनली हाँ या यू आर गेटिंग द डेप्थ ऑफ फ्लो एज वन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री टू मीटर सो नाउ यू कैन कैलकुलेट द विथ ऑल्सो यू नो दैट विथ इज इक्वल टू टू वाई डैश दिस इज बी डैश सो टू इंटू वन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री टू सो इंटू टू यू विल गेट इट अराउंड थ्री पॉइंट फोर सिक्स फोर मीटर so you got the width you got the depth of flow that is you completed first part of the question that is 3.464 and 1.732 meter now what it has asked you find the new dimensions of the channel and increase in discharge so now you have to calculate the discharge for the second case also so let q dash be the new discharge or you can say the maximum discharge Fine. So what you will be getting? Q dash is equal to area into velocity. You will be getting new velocity here. Fine. Reason because what is velocity? It is C root over R S. And in this case, your hydraulic radius won't be the same with respect to the initial one. So what is your area? It will remain six C root over R S. Now I haven't calculated R till now. so you can calculate it in two ways first of all let me tell you first is your r is equal to y by 2 because we have solved this for your maximum discharge so r is equal to y by 2 that is 1.732 by 2 so i'll solve this 1.732 divided by 2 so you'll get the value 0.866 meters this is one way second is you can solve it in the same manner like if this is your rectangular channel section width you have calculated it now how much it was 3.464 meter you calculated the width right similarly you calculated the depth of flow how much it was 1.732 so y was 1.732 so this was your b dash and y dash so in this case if you calculate the perimeter p dash what you will be getting b dash plus twice of y dash getting it similar same thing only now b dash is equal to 3.464 plus twice of 1.732 so let me solve this 3.464 plus twice into 1.732 so from here also you will get the value as 6.928 meter this is your perimeter so you will calculate the hydraulic radius r which is equal to a divided by p dash so what is your a it is 6 meter square perimeter you have calculated how much 6.928 so 6.928 so 6 divided by 6.928 will give you the same value that is 0.866 meters so either way you can calculate it but you can see that this one is time consuming and you have you have to simply do half the depth of flow so for maximum discharge you should approach in this manner fine so i'll write it down here chazy's constant is how much 55 hydraulic radius you have calculated it 0.866 and slope was 1 in 1000 right slope was 1 in 1000 So let us solve this. Six into fifty-five into root over point eight six six into one upon thousand. So from here you will get the value as nine point seven one one meter cube per second. 
this is your new discharge in the case or you can say the maximum discharge when your width was twice the depth of flow and your hydraulic radius was half the depth of flow. Now in this case last thing which has been asked is increase in discharge. So increase in discharge is equal to how much? New discharge minus that is Q dash minus your initial discharge. So new discharge is how much? 9.711. So I write it 9.711 meter cube per second and initial discharge was 9.66. So 9.66. So we will solve this 9.711 minus 9.66 will give you the discharge as 0 0.051 meter cube per second. Fine. So, this will be your increase in discharge. So, you could see that the questions are very simple. This was your first question regarding the assignment. So, the questions is very simple if you are clear with the concepts. Fine. Initially, you calculated the discharge, then you change the dimensions. If you are not knowing these conditions, then what else you can do? You can, you can calculate it also because you can take a weight depth of flow for perimeter to be minimum. What all derivations which we have done, you can approach in that, that manner. But I suggest that practice so many questions that this is automatically in your brain. You do not have to derive all these things. Fine. And then you calculated the new discharge and this was your increase in discharge. Final discharge minus initial discharge. So this was your increase in discharge and this width and your depth of flow are the new dimensions. Just one thing more, you can ask me that ma'am is it possible that up to 3 decimal places can we design an open channel flow? No my dear students you can round it off but here as it was um, simply a conventional sort of question so we dealt it up to 3 decimal places otherwise uh, you can take it as 3.5 you can take it as 1.7 meters fine in that, that manner you can proceed. So I hope you are clear with this whole question we will proceed further thank you.